Well, they say time heals all, but for the families of Jessica Serna and her best friend Heidi Shook, the pain is still fresh. For a few moments, Jessica Serna's family stood quietly huddled together, memories of her smile sliding through their minds. She's just such a great person, such a great mom and a sister. In their silence, they said a lot. We don't stand for domestic violence. Serna and her best friend and roommate, Heidi Shook, were shot and killed in this stretch of road in the 500 block of East North Street one year ago today. Springfield police have arrested Serna's ex-boyfriend, Charles Cunningham, who had a long history of domestic violence. Witnesses reported seeing Cunningham arguing with Serna, then following her and Shook to this spot, where police say he shot them both multiple times. Cunningham had two children with Serna. Tonight, they carried candles in memory of their mother as the family wrestles with the criminal trial ahead. I was with Kaylee yesterday, and it was just so tough. She was just sitting there. I said, what's wrong, baby? She said, I'm tired. I was like, okay, we well, can go to sleep. And I said, what's really wrong? I said, I whispered, I said, you're thinking about mommy. And she started crying and said she had been all day. So that's tough because what do you say to, you know, what do you say to a little child like that? The family left their candles to glow among the growing memorial along North Street and went home to face another day without their daughters, sisters, and friends. Just to let everybody know that they're still with us every day, even with the struggles. Well, Charles Cunningham is still awaiting trial. If convicted of the murders, he could face the death penalty. Reporting live, I'm Holly Samuels, 2 News on your side.